What's up, Earth Gamers? Toasty here with the recap of last week's Earth Gaming news that you may have missed. Hope everyone's having a great day and a great week. Now let's get into our top story, and that is Spider-Man is finally coming to Marvel's Avengers. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Uh, the game. Yeah, I know he's in the movie he's he's in it or not. I'm, I'm not sure right now, but uh, in the game, he's got an actual release date, and that's November 30th. While they haven't shown off the character entirely, only teasing fans with a portion of his head and some feet pics, we should get a full reveal soon. Along with Spider-Man is a huge update to the game that players have been asking for since launch. Changes to the gear and adding some more in-game content. Not that type of in-game, but with patch 2.2 comes the game's first raid. Gear upgrading, power level increase, resource streamlining, and more ways to earn in-game cosmetics and gear. As a fan of the game myself, I cannot wait to level up Spidey and run that raid. The 30th cannot come soon enough. In other Marvel games news, it has been revealed that the famed video game director and writer Amy Hennig, I hope I said that right, will be heading up a new Marvel game developed by Skydance Media. This will actually be the first video game project for the studio and current rumors are leaning towards it being a Fantastic Four game. I hope it's a Squirrel Girl game though. Of course, make sure you are subscribed to get the latest updates. In our final round of Marvel gaming news, Midnight Suns the tactical XCOM like game has been delayed to allow the devs to add more story, cinematic, and polish, according to them. I will always stick with the now age old adage that a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. I, I don't know why I did it in that voice. Uh, no new release date has been set. Uh, but speaking of game delays, if you haven't heard by now, Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 have been delayed and pushed out of 2022 entirely. Meaning no new release date has been set, but you could be damn sure it's not releasing anytime soon. Not at least until 2023. Forza Horizon 5 launches on November 9th, but has already amassed almost 1 million players before its official launch thanks to early access that you could get by purchasing the Premium Edition. This has been fueled by the game receiving excellent reviews, making it the highest rated new game of the year so far, and it is currently the best selling game on Steam despite the fact that it is available on Game Pass day one, well, in a few days. Um, I'm definitely excited to play it now. Um, I'm going to definitely check it out in a few days on the 9th. Uh, speaking of Game Pass, the Skyrim Special Anniversary Edition, aka the Next Gen Upgrade Edition, aka the Special Edition, or I'm not sure if that's the same edition. Either way, the Anniversary Edition, I believe that's the right one, will not be on Game Pass uh, for free. While the original game is, Earth gamers who want to experience that next gen Skyrimness will have to shell over 20 bucks or, uh, for the upgrade or $49.99 for the full game. In the news of game leaks, if you haven't heard by now that Warner Brothers is making their own Smash Bros style brawler currently titled Multiverses, uh, featuring characters from the Warner Bros staple of IPs, leaks suggest the roster to currently consist of Gandalf from Lloyd of the Rings, Tom and Jerry, Fred Flintstone, Mad Max, Johnny Bravo, Steven Universe, Batman, Harley Quinn, Finn and Jake, Superman, Wonder Woman, Rick and Morty, Bugs Bunny, and the most OP character known to human and mutant kind, Shaggy. No, not that Shaggy, Shaggy, that Shaggy, yeah. A rumor suggests that the game will be free to play and supported by microtransactions, of course, and future DLC characters such as LeBron James, apparently. In other gaming leaks, there has been a treasure trove of release dates for games leaked online. While usually not the biggest of news, a lot of the games leaked are PlayStation exclusive titles such as Ghost of Tsushima and God of War that are making the move to PC, like we saw with Horizon Zero Dawn recently. It seems that the next PlayStation exclusive to make the move to PC is Sackboy A Big Adventure, according to a recent Steam database entry. Wait, that's it? Well, uh, the leak also says that Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy XVI are coming to PC as well. It's awesome to see that more Earth gamers are going to be able to experience these amazing games. I cannot wait to see what modders come up with uh, as well. 
Speaking of modders, uh, there's now a Dark Souls mod that turns the game into a third person shooter and adds guns from Halo. And when I say they added the guns, they added the guns. It's not just a simple model swap, but a completely new category in the game. They have their own moveset, controls, and mechanics. Amazing work by the modder Inferno Plus. You can check out the mod if you wish as it is available for free. Link is down below. And to end our show, I have some gaming news I wanted to share with you guys that you may have not heard of, and that is this trailer and release date for this fan-made Bloodborne PS1 D-Make. The developer has been working on this seemingly for over four years now, just according to their YouTube uploads. Uh, honestly, just amazing work, and I cannot wait to get my toaster hands on it. That's going to be it for this week's Earth Gaming News Recap. Do all the YouTube stuff, like and subscribe, send me pictures of butter on Twitter and Instagram at Toasty underscore MM. Follow us on TikTok for even more content at Muted Media. And remember to always stay smooth like butter.